New York and on the new Hot 97 app, Ebro in the Morning. Ebro in the Morning, we're talking about evil people. All varieties. We would cover it from, uh, what's your, uh, what's the guy's name who's going to jail? Craig Carden. Craig Carden. Started there. Started there, and we ended up on some lady in Zambia in Africa who's been switching people's babies at birth for fun for how many years? 12 oh. years. And so she crazy. decided she wanted to confess now that she's dying of cancer. 5,000 babies have been switched. I don't know. Under her watch. You I know? don't know if the pearly gates, the code at the pearly gates will work for you, lady, even if you confess no, now. No, I know. It, 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 you've known. Like, I, I'm not one of those people that's like, oh, just just admit you've been doing bad and it's all good. No. What? You admit that you've been doing, no, 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 no. I, if you admit you've been doing bad on your deathbed, what the hell does that do for anyone? You, she, she how about broke, after you did it the first time? And you're like, yo, this is a bad thing I just did. But I need to get, I need to stop. Well, Kept look, doing it. She don't want to get in trouble. And there's levels. <laughs> there's levels. Like, where? How does your brain function when you think you're gonna s- switch people's babies at birth? Like, and how for does that fun? What oh, fun? Well, for any reason. And broke up several married couples because the child didn't look like them. The, the only reason a, a baby gets switched at birth is mistake. Oops. No, I put on one purpose. down and. It's the only thing I want to hear. Other than that, everything else is, there's no part of my brain that can understand why this would be something you'd want to, wow. There's no part of my brain. People are really. People are, people are evil. That's why I said we're in here talking about evil people. Five. Evil people. And you're telling me this guy, Craig Carton, got on the air with y'all at ESPN yesterday and wanted to talk about his sexual abuse and things that happened to him as a child. Yes. But not talk about the fact that he knows that he was stealing from people, knowingly stealing from people, lying and act like he was a representative of the Barclays Center, lying, writing emails like he was the head of the Barclays Center to people to get money from them and to take advantage oh, of people. so crazy. For, for so years. Crazy. Well, no, that, was, that wasn't for that long. Maybe a year or two. We, we, yeah. Maybe, maybe two. A year say, or two. I will say this. The part I feel that I thought it was a really good interview. The part I think we failed on a bit was that we let him get because his addiction is fascinating. You know what I'm saying? Because the gambling addiction is fascinating how bad it got. He ended up just telling stories of his addiction, quickly getting away from the crimes he committed because the gambling addiction part isn't a crime. It's a flaw and it's relatable and interesting to to listen to. <clears throat> but you're not talking now about how the gambling wasn't what destroyed, what was hurting people and stealing from them. That was the Ponzi scheme that you did to save your ass from the debts that you had. But he just focused on the addiction, his uh, sexual molestation as a child, which he never brought up throughout his whole radio career. He only brought it up. It only came out now. He wrote a biography. He said he has a chapter about it in the biography, and the editor pulled it out and was like, no, you shouldn't put this in the book. Why? Because he was like the, the I don't believe him. And then he's you're like, a liar. You're you're a professional liar. Why should I believe you? And then it made me realize <laughs> that too, that the thing that people think is so <laughs> talented about him on the radio is he lies constantly. And I'm like, damn, that's such a cheat code. If you're just allowed to get on the air and make lie stuff up and make stuff up, which I know firsthand he does because he did it about me. And that's why people. Well, I can't believe that an editor yanked that out of your book, and now you. I can't. I can't believe any of it now. For me, I mean, the rest of y'all can't. I don't know the man. I never listened to him on the radio. So this is all fascinating to me, I guess. Yeah, wow. Because it's interesting that this is it. You know, gambling. And I and I think because he does sports radio or did sports radio, Craig Carton, and there's sports betting and gambling in sports, I think that makes it double interesting is because he was on the air around gambling, doing his job and gambling and lying and doing it all at the same time. For entertainment. that So people are enthralled by this. Well, yeah. Layers of it. Yeah, there's super layers to it. His gambling addiction, his thing was blackjack. That's what he did, like, nonstop was blackjack. And that part is really interesting. And just to clear one thing up, because a few of the people who wrote about it... Being addicted to blackjack is whack. Of all That's the, just, it's, it's just, just like a... Of all the vices you're going to have, it's like blackjack. Like, Come on, crap, something. Poker. Um, something a little bit. People thought that I was, at the end of the interview, I brought up that he lied about a situation in which I met him. And they, a few people were like, oh, Rosenberg's taking this moment to make it all about him. The reason that's relevant is because I'm establishing a lie of yours because I know it as a fact as it was about me. Right, right, right. And, when I, said, to. and when I said to you, you said I met you and said you, I was a fan. He's like, well, that's what I recall. 
I went, I never met you. And I certainly never would have said I was a fan. And if he was really in uh, rehab or really trying to become a better person, he would, A, recognize that he's lied about mad stuff. And in the moment where someone would go, you lied about this, if you're really trying to become better, you would say, yeah, I have that problem. That, that, that was the part, and that's why it was important. Because in that moment where he's looking right at someone who he had wronged, even if in a small way, you could go, yeah, you know, that wasn't cool. Um, I'm regretful of a lot of things I did. Nope. Instead, he goes, I was like, I was never a fan of yours. He's like, oh, you're a fan a little bit. I'm like, oh, Still really? gassed. You're, you're still, still gassed. gassed. <laughs> you haven't even been knocked down, bro. You haven't you're been knocked down. You're still gassed. And well, yeah, the judge listened to the show. The judge is his fan. He only got 40. What did he get? 42 months. The, the, the feds recommended 77. I don't know how often the judge goes against what the feds recommend. But the judge was one of his listeners. Yes. She she said that. She said, one day I'll hear you on the air again. She said that. How how if if he was just a black guy named Steve. I know a black guy doing 27 years for a Ponzi scheme. 27 years. 27. Damn. So wait, is I have a question about about this black guy who who did a Ponzi scheme was facing 27 years. Was he famous? No. Did the judge know him in any way? No. Threw the book at him. It feels like the library got thrown at him. That feels like the library got thrown at him because 77 months reduced to 42, which will probably end up coming down from that. Can you can Fed time get reduced or no? Do you have to serve no out the idea. whole thing? I have no That's the one idea. thing I can't I, I can't figure either. out. And either way, what jail and, and what jail are you going to go to? Are you going to go to a really bad prison, or are Got you going to go to white collar prison? Club Fed. Club are you Fed. Are you going to Club Fed? Club Fed. So, like, I don't think he'll learn. The worst thing I hear about Fed time is you can't get conjugal. Like, if you're married, I, I hear, never done Fed time. You've, no. never, you've never done Fed time? No, nah, I never. You've never committed federal crimes? Nope. Hmm. Wuss. <laughs> what am I doing out here? Yeah, kiss her life. What?